Hello, finance experts. This is Justin Archery. This is my finance 551 back testing strategy. So, over here, um, I pulled 30 different mutual funds. All the way to the left under column A, I have the symbol or ticker. In column B, we have the turnover ratio. In column C, we have the expense ratio. And then in column D, we have the five year average return. I chose not to deal with one year or three year average returns uh, because I wanted a more clear picture. And so I figured a five year average return uh, gives us a, a more clear picture of, of what the mutual fund's doing. These mutual funds are not all in the same sector or category. This is a combination of domestic mutual funds, international mutual funds, um, and there's even 10 in here that are a specific sector. I believe they're high yield bond funds. And I pulled this information using Yahoo Finance. So when I ran the first relationship between turnover and five year average return, this is what I got. So we look for a p-value of 0.05 or smaller. Um, so we do see significance here with a p-value of 0.0495. So we, we can say with confidence. And what do we end up getting? So we have a negative relationship. So as we increased turnover, we did see the five-year average returns fall by 0 0.05, just about. Um, so we can say with confidence that whenever we increase turnover, we do see our five-year average returns falling. All right, so next we look at the relationship between the expense ratio and the five-year average returns. We, we see another negative relationship, um, but the problem here is we can't say with confidence that this, this is right. Um, we have a much higher p-value. So we have a p-value of 0.25, meaning that there's a 25% chance that these results are random. Um, we only have 75% confidence. So we cannot say with confidence um, that what we found here is true. Thanks for watching.